So this TikToker, let's call her Spirit. One day, she's in bed and she starts seeing these creatures and they start talking to her. Now Spirit is 14 years old, she's a good kid, she goes to private school, she's class president, and she also makes a lot of TikToks. Mostly just dancing and lip syncing videos. Spirit also has an older sister. Let's just call her Angel. Angel's 19 and she has cerebral palsy and she uses a wheelchair. And when Spirit and Angel hang out, Spirit sings her songs and reads to her, they seem to be happy. But over time, Spirit's TikToks start to change. They get a little darker, kind of an emo vibe, because she's being bullied at school. She's becoming depressed. She also thinks she might be trans, but it isn't clear. And so Spirit retreats more and more into the horror movies she likes, and she starts to have dark, intrusive thoughts. And one day, Spirit has a normal day. She goes to school, she gets home, she posts a TikTok, and bedtime comes, and she goes to bed, and everyone in the house is asleep. And that is when she's approached by these creatures. And I don't know what to call them, so we'll just call them demons. And these demons demons, they start speaking to her. Now, Spirit doesn't like this. It scares her. She doesn't know what to do. Then the demons start bullying her. They're making fun of the way she looks. They're taunting her for maybe being trans. And they allegedly start telling her to hurt herself. So Spirit gets out of bed and she sneaks through the dark and she goes downstairs. She goes to the kitchen and grabs a large kitchen knife. And the demons keep taunting her. So finally, Spirit does the only thing she can think of. She turns the knife on one of the demons. And she stabs it, hoping it'll go away. And she does this over and over again. And eventually she stops and she looks down and realizes she wasn't stabbing a demon. She had been stabbing her sister, Angel. So Spirit calls 911. Then she goes out into the front yard and waits for the police. Police get there and she straight up admits it. I unalived my sister. So they arrest her and it's a huge deal and all her TikTok followers are like, what the f and eventually, all of this goes to trial. And at the trial, Spirit's attorney argues a version of the story I just told you. That Spirit killed Angel because Spirit was depressed, experiencing hallucinations, which I represented with pictures of demons, but who knows what the hell she was seeing. Now the prosecuting attorney, on the other hand, they argue, that's bull****. That this wasn't because of hallucinations, and that Spirit was obsessed with homicide, and that she would often talk to her friends about unaliving people, and that she shows no remorse in killing her sister. And allegedly, when Spirit was in police custody, an officer's phone rings, and his ringtone is the theme to Halloween, and Spirit jokes, I just Michael Myers to my sister. And then another time while in police custody, police gave her McDonald's, and she said, I would have killed someone sooner if I knew I was getting McDonald's. And so the prosecuting attorneys use all of these things against Spirit in court. However, both prosecution and defense agree that Spirit is mentally unwell. So Spirit is tried as an adult and eventually she pleads guilty to third degree murder and here's her mugshot and she's in prison now, serving 12 to 40 years. And to this day, we still don't exactly have a clear understanding of why she did it.